All right then, lesson four. Here we will learn basically the size and the timing of OE cake. But before that, I'll just quickly go over these um, variables. Basically, view is like your camera, what you can see, and bounds is the play area. So I've messed with the settings a bit and I can push stuff out of the screen because it's out of view, but not out of bounds. And I'll just mess with it a bit more, randomly. You can push the fuel out of the screen. I'll add a bit of fire. And as you can see, the steam, the steam actually follows the view bounds. It doesn't, doesn't fully go out of the view. But you can still push um, other stuff out. I don't know, I'm not too sure the way this works exactly, it's a bit confusing. And this is just the gravity angle flag, basically just it's just where the gravity comes from, which direction. Okay, and now for time steps per frame. This is our uh, normal speed, this is 8, it's default. Now time steps is basically like a frame skip, so you're skipping 7 frames. And this is time steps 4, which means you're only skipping 3 frames. And it's basically like the speed of the simulation as well. And here's one. Now one is as low as you can go. And this is the slowest possible motion. And of course you can increase the time steps for fast forward. And here's the scale variable. This is scale 4, which is basically half size of um, 8. Now it doesn't actually change the size, it changes the way it's visually represented. At scale 1, every particle takes up 1 pixel, otherwise every particle takes up 8 pixels. Now when you're playing OK, can you make something in scale 1? Um, basically, watch when this explodes and you'll see how slow the explosion progresses. There you go. It's really, it's happening really slow. Now if you want to get more motion, you have to, you can change the time steps per frame. Now I've made a 2 here, and watch when this thing explodes, it's actually going slow motion and it'll show more of the explosion, it'll show more frames it'll still take forever to explode. There you go. And I'll show you now what I meant before when I said that each um, pixel takes, sorry, each particle takes eight pixels. Here's, here's the importing a picture on scale eight in the various visual modes. And this is best shown in point mode, where you can see that each pixel is in fact floating in empty space. And um, it's only the blob and texture mode which creates the visual um, illusion that it's actually solid when it's not. Now we're progressing through scale 4 in the modes. As you can see the picture becomes clearer because each particle is only is 4 pixels. So it's a smaller illusion. And here's scale 1 now. You don't even need to use blob and texture anymore on scale 1 because there's no need to create a visual illusion. Every particle takes exactly one pixel. 